Hey guys, welcome back to the Insider. I'm Ray. I'm Danny. And today we have Shadow Hunter season two, episode eleven, Mia Maxima Culpa. So it's finally here, the summer premiere of season two, part B. I'm, Long ass break, right? <laughs> We've seen some of the the promos and trailers that they put out. We didn't watch everything mainly because the way they title things and the way they put things in these promos are very spoilerish so we we want to keep everything fresh especially for ray since he knows nothing of the books i am the book reader i actually just finished lord of shadows guys if you guys read the book please let me know your thoughts on it but also beware of others who haven't finished it please put spoiler tags um yeah so can't wait to see what they have in store for us so with that being said let's get started i know who i can count on CW. Right? Magnus, a warlock from Brooklyn. Dude! My name is Clary Fairchild. Is everybody taking that intro now? Because Flash is the best show on Earth. The well, best comic book show on Earth. So you tell Clary? So she's not your sister. Oh, yeah. so much. He's just got a good thing going this time. You really believe that? Yeah, but we want to ruin that. Ooh, that's some so MMA shit. She's been dumped as soon as she finds out you're not related. <laughs> <laughs> Which is... Oh, yeah. That's fucked up, though. What the hell? This looks that... so CG. Yeah. It looks nothing like hey. real New York. We yes. should know. Yo, I believe this. I, I like the way she looks at him. Jace. I'm sorry, what are you doing here? Is, is everything okay? Of course, the Herondale just arrived at the Institute. She wants to speak with us. Ooh. Yeah. Let me get my stuff. Who, what? I heard Herondale. Jace. What, what was the first name? I didn't catch that. If I think that's who I think it is, then this is going to get good. Got your back. <laughs> no. Never. Claire, are you ready? So yeah. mean. I, I love it yeah. though. Whoop! Justice will be served. <laughs> Damn. I did Whoa. not. I did not know that you had room for that. If you want the truth, why not just use the soul sword? Are you telling me how to do my job? No. You don't have yeah. it. You said you retrieved right? the sword after yeah. the attack. I just don't understand why you wouldn't. Rune, your sister drew to deactivate the sword, ended up damaging it in the process. It's been sent to the Iron Sisters to be purified. Oh, they do have it. Your Valentine's children. I feel like she's lying. Tell me what you know. <laughs> She looks like the mummy. No, no, she no. does. Serious? This is how you treat me when I need you the most? I thought you cared about me, Raphael, but I guess that was it's wrong. because I care. I should have never given you a taste. Woo! Damn. She's crazy. Latina girls are crazy, yo. She's lost it with this addiction. Her necklace. Whoa! I can smell your weakness from Realm away. I thought he was a warlock, but I guess not.
Ew, what did he turn into? Bugs. The scene. I still have feelings for her. Now isn't that a pickle? Not another word. What is he talking about? You want to do the honors or show us? <laughs> Valentine's not my father. I am not your brother. She looks like she's frozen. <laughs> this is the mannequin challenge. Wondrum, I feel like a new person. What is it? It's it's a. Should we be mindful of taking drugs from strangers? <laughs> That's a first. Damn. It's so sweet that like they can open up to each other like that. Yeah. Cause I'm pretty sure no one else can see like Jace crying. No, no, definitely not. Yeah, I know all about stubborn and strong-willed mothers. Yeah? Really? Is she in London? She, uh, she's in Westeros. Oh, she's gone now, so. You're a daylighter. Daylighter! Yeah. In the legends. I, I like the sound of that. Around. Is that from the books? Yep. Okay, yes, I can walk in, still seems like a risk. This looks like we some no satanic no shit. It really does. The security cameras in the cell are down. Go find his buff. can't let his Azel get away. Clary, now! Oh, oh! Did it work? No. Nope. It's not working. What are you talking about? Nothing's happening. Ugh! Oh. Some creepy shit. You thought you could contain me. So much for that plan. I mean, he is a greater demon for a reason. The prince of all saints. Or <laughs> demons. No! No! What? What, oh, what is he shit. doing? Is he killing Valentine? Whoa. What the, what the hell? hell? Was that necessary? <laughs> he could have He could have just stabbed him. Yeah. You have to do a front flip or side flip. I love you, Alec. Could have called a bit sooner. Whoa. Whoa! What the hell? I think the tea's ready. Yeah, it is. What the hell? Do you want milk? Honey? What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, to Simon's say. Disgusting walk. What the hell? What? what? That was an interesting... Yeah, I saw a little bit of next week's preview. Yeah, same and, here. Because, like, we don't watch previews for next episode, but this one, it just came up. It just came up. We didn't realize it, it would be this soon. Yeah, and it was 
Magnus saying you trapped me inside this disgusting warlock. Yeah. Did he switch bodies with Valentine? I... Oh shit, did, yeah. That's what the that's Azazel what did. That's what Azazel did. Oh shit. But why... What's what's his game? Yeah. You know, what's he trying to play at? And, and if, if that was Valentine in um, Magnus's, Magnus's body, body, why wouldn't um, Valentine say anything right away? Of course not, because he wants the freedom. He's in oh, a warlock yeah. body. He can do magic. Right, right, right. That's why Valentine said, help, help me. me. And that's why um, Magnus didn't want to go home with Alec. Alec. Yeah. He didn't want Alec to come with him. Yeah. Because it's not Magnus. It's Valentine. And that's why they didn't kiss goodbye either. Damn. Fuck. Like a little snippet of yeah. next week's episode helps you figure out everything. But it also spoils for the next episode. This episode. This episode was really good. Yeah. This, it was really other good. Other than like a little moments with like the CG. Yeah. That's but that's the you know That's the only the thing. But green it, screen, yeah. whatever, the set. You know? And, and it was just that one scene. Yeah, as far as I remember, it's just that one scene. So I'm glad that they stepped up everything overall, though. Yeah, f as far as I remember, it was just that one scene. And I guess considering that they used um, more CG budget with the summoning, I'm kind of glad that they put it towards that instead of, like, you know, the fake New York screen. This season improved so much compared to uh, season one. Yeah, definitely. And like, I also see the growth like that they did in between the break. You know, from the first half of the season, I feel like the storyline got a lot better. Especially, mm -hmm. I didn't catch the first name because... I just heard Herondale. I know, I heard Herondale. And then assuming that what they mean is that that's the Inquisitor, then... Oh my god, like I love seeing this woman because I know that there's so much she more. Looks mean. Well, yeah, she's basically like the supreme judge of their government. I got like a Dolores Umbridge vibe, if that's accurate. <laughs> because I guess because of her hair. I, I see it. I see what you mean. But like I said, she's, she's very strict very old-fashioned and um she's not evil like umbridge oh okay so that's just and she's one not an annoying like umbridge right oh shit because because umbridge has that like laugh my office <laughs> all right no, no 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 not like that annoying but a different kind of annoying i'm i'm just so happy like we got to see we got to see her and sebastian i am what like, the fuck was that thing at the end like the last scene that he was in he was trying to burn himself what the fuck he was i like that i have no idea like what he's trying to do i feel like i know where it's coming from and yeah then, and then he gave um izzy that look yeah like, you want some tea <laughs> yeah, yo like, bro why are you so creepy he's he he's, started off super nice i know he started off so cute so charming that innocent look like, like i'm here to help you i went through the same shit you're going through right now and then like that and then that just felt like so what's the word convenient oh yeah you that, know like, i had the same problem you know like how is it that like he you think it's a front just so that Izzy can trust him? Yeah. Cause like, he's too cute, innocent, and charming for Sebastian. So in this episode, I love the scenes with um, Jason, Alec. Yeah. Like you can see the connection yeah. between them. Oh yeah. I feel like we saw that in the past, but this it, made an impact. Yeah. Cause we saw them like opening up with each other. Mm -hmm. Like Jason never told anyone that he knew about uh, that secret. Yeah, that he's not um, Valentine's son. And then like Chase showing Alec that he's crying. Yeah, like he's being emotional. Like he's being vulner vulnerable. Vulnerable. Yeah, that's the word. Like it didn't really have much of an impact to me. But I get it. But it did have that impact because I'm not a book reader. Yeah. So like, I feel like my version of that would be seeing Bruce Wayne crying. Mm -hmm. Cause you never see Batman crying at all. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? So. And I feel like the show hasn't um done that good of a job for non book readers of trying yeah. to get you invested in these characters. So I see what you mean. Because I love these characters with all my heart. And that's just because. I'm a book reader. I know these characters. I know their story. I know the future of what they're gonna do, sort of, kind of. But you know, and that's how I'm so attached to them. But I feel like, like I said, the show hasn't done that great of a job for non-book readers like yourself. So now Clary knows that Jace isn't her brother, and you know they're not siblings. That whole sibling thing is done. But with Clary already moving on with Simon you know it's yeah. kind of it's gonna be really messed up if she just drops him yeah after that exactly like, after like everything they've been through yeah I feel like it also isn't fair to him in the end he's basically you know been in love with her since forever mm -hmm. and it really will getting out of the friend zone is hard yeah <laughs> and he finally did it you know just for the fact that he might jump right back in in a few months yeah or in a few weeks it sucks like, so, the, so the what are they called mortal instruments no the people at idris the clave the clave they have the soul sword that's what the inquisitor says that mysterious um hooded person we all thought episode, was yeah was sebastian took the sword it. and if it was a member of the clave like why didn't they show it why did they have to make it so like mysterious you think they're lying I wouldn't doubt that they are, you know? So that, like, everyone that, like, doesn't freak out? Yeah. I feel like the special effects for Azazel in this episode was a good start. Yeah. I hope they build up on that, because mm -hmm. I want to see him in his greater demon form. Oh, yeah. Like... Definitely. Because I saw, um, when Jace was talking to Clary, like, we saw this hologram of mm. these monsters. Does he look like that? Can't. I can't remember his description. It's been... Because so if he does, like, I want to see that, you know, spend all your CG budget <laughs> on that. <laughs> Anyways, what did you guys think of the second half of the season? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Danny. I'm Ray. And this has been your Inside Scoop on all things nerdy.